Hey makers this is Dhruveen and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can perform the CRUD operation for Dataverse and as an end outcome I want to create this kind of form and remember this is not a form control this is the individual field I have taken this is a lookup column this is one of the choice column this is date type column and this is multi select choice column now we will talk about all the possible type of column over here with the dataverse and we will write one patch expression to save the record when we save this record the record will be saved in the dataverse table and whenever we click on any record from the dataverse it will show the same thing in the edit mode and we can up perform the update operation as well with the same code so how we can create this end to end type of dataverse form without form control and how we can deal with different data type of the column like choice lookup choices and date time and number column we will talk all of those things in detail throughout this video so make sure that you look at this video till end also if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe press the bell notification and follow me on my twitter and instagram account so without further delay let's get started so first of all let me show you the dataverse architecture so over here you can see that i have created a table called employee and in that employee table i have all of this custom column this employee id is auto number column which is a primary column apart from that i have employee name column position as a choice column resume as a file column total experience in a month as a whole number column date of joining as date time column department as a lookup column and approved devices as multi select choice column also i have another table called department which is considered as a lookup column for the employee table so this is how the data structure is defined for this project now let's move to the power apps and let's start creating this form before we get started one important thing you can create this whole form with the form control as well but the purpose of this video is just to demonstrate different column type with patch function that's the reason why we created this now let me get started from scratch so the very first thing i have done here on this page is i created one vertical gallery and these are the record which i am showing from my dataverse table so over here this is my employee list which i am showing here and here i just added the different element over here i will not showcase you how to create gallery and all because you already know that but an interesting thing that you need to know is how to deal with the different type of column to show value from dataverse to this particular grid so let's say for an example if you have a regular text column then it is very simple you need to use this item dot your column name which means your employee name and you are all good if you have choice column then also it is simple you simply need to use this item dot position so position is my choice column so that's why it is showing me like this you can simply show it by that way let's say for an example if you have a lookup column then you need to use like this this item dot your lookup column dot its primary column name so i want to show name column over here department name so i am showing this item dot department dot name let's say if you have multi choice column then obviously if you wanted to show that as a comma separated then you need to use concat function and inside that you need to provide this item dot your choice column dot value and you need to concatenate value by comma and that's how it will show you like this if you have number column then also it's a simple this item dot total experience in month and you are all good so this is how you can display the different column type from your dataverse to this one now let's start creating the different element of the form so first of all i am taking up some label control to show the different kind of labels so this is one label control i'm taking and let me change its value so let's say i need here employee name so here i'm just typing emp name and now let me change some sort of formatting over here and i will repeat the same process for my other label control so here i have taken all of this label with the proper formatting and label header now let's add the different control for the different data type so for employee name basically we need to have text column because we need the input in a text format similar way for department we have a lookup column in order to bind the lookup column we need to use control combo box 
So search here for combo box because combo box is the only control which support the lookup data type. So let's provide it. Then we need to show the position date of joining. So for that for position is a choice column. So for that simply use the drop down control. So I use the drop down and it will look like this. Then date of joining for that let's use a date control. So I'm just choosing date picker control and it is looking like this. Same way for approved devices it is a multi choice column and multi choice column can be represented with the combo box. So let's go here and add one combo box control again. So I'm just adding one combo box over here and it will look like this. And for total month of experience again let's take a text control. So I'm just using text input control and this is the number only field. So what I'll do here is over here let me change the format over here from text to number and it will only accept the number over here as well from the text box let me remove this text default text over here so it is looking nice like this <coughs> now the question arises that you know this departments are blank so how can we bind this department value from our data verse table to this particular drop downs let's have a look so department is something which is our lookup column which we have taken in our database in order to bind the lookup columns we need to go to the item event of the code so we need to simply select this and go to the data source which means this one over here we need to change the code so we use choices your name of the table and your lookup column name Okay, so we bind that and now it is binded successfully like this, which is perfect. Similar way for position, position is our choice column. So similar way over here, we need to use choices and inside choices, we need to provide the name of the column, which is our position column. So let's provide that and we are good. So you can see my positions are binded properly. Similar way for this one, it is multi choice column. So similar way here as well, we will go and we will bind our choices. So let's have a look choices and under that let's provide approved devices. And here we are. It's a multi select choice box, which is absolutely perfect. Now let's write a save function for this particular form. And for that, I'm just adding one button control and adding my expression over there. Select your button and write on select event over here. Now, I don't want to write that code again. So I'm already going with the things that I've implemented. So I'm opening my save button and I'm showing you the patch code. So to save the thing, we need to use patch function. And inside that we need to use default because we want to create this as a new record. So let's have a look. After that, we need to pass different type of columns. So first is our employee name. So employee name is nothing but our text column. So this is the name of the employee which I want to take. So let's copy the ID of the control which is txt employee name. So txt employee name dot text that is something we need to have. So over here employee name is txt employee name dot text. Now department. Department is a lookup column and for lookup column to use in the patch function you need to provide this kind of syntax you need to use lookup function you need to provide the name of your lookup table which is a department table and name is equal to whichever combo box you created here which is cmb department combo department cmb department dot selected so this is something you need to pass combo department dot selected dot name and that's how you pass the lookup column in the patch function Let's say if you have a choice column, then you need to use like drop down position, which is your this control DRP position dot selected drop down position dot selected dot value for choice column. You always need to use dot value at the end for date of joining the control ID dot selected date. Then for approved devices, which is multi select choice column, then your control name dot selected items. Then total month in experience which is a number column. So for number column you need to use value function and inside that your text control dot text. Okay. So this is the generalized formula for all the possible data types inside the canvas app with dataverse. Okay. So this is 
a cheat sheet for you so whenever you have a text column you need to use dot text property when you have lookup column you need to use lookup function for that table and your combo box dot selected dot that column for choice column always you need to use dot selected dot value if you have multi select choice column then your combo box dot selected items using that at you will get entire object for date of joining it's just a, a control dot selected date and for number column you always need to use the value function so this is the heart of this code so this is the patch function you can use with the different data type of the dataverse table now let's talk about one more interesting thing so this is our new form so let me just add one more record over here so here i am adding one of the records anjan i am just adding his name i am just selecting the position i am just selecting the date of joining approved device is a laptop and desktop and total experience in month is 12 months and now i am just doing save operation so as soon as i do save it will just store that record and it will showing me over here now let's say when i click on the any element basically it is showing that value so now we need to use another function to update this record as well so how we can implement our new and update both the functionality together let's have a look so over here what i've done here is i added one icon for adding the new record as soon as i click on new button it will mark this as a blank and consider as a new record for that on new button on select event i have written some sort of code first of all i am initializing one variable for form mode so variable mode is new so whenever i click on button which means that i know that i clicked on the new button and i am resetting all the control so i use reset function for six different field so for all of this field i have used that reset function and in reset you just need to provide the id of that control text combo box drop down like that so i just did that activity over here so all the reset function along with one update context for the form mode another thing is same like whenever you select any element from the gallery you need to write the on select event for that so this is the gallery control so i just selected this gallery and now if we check about the on select event what i'm doing here is i'm just taking two variables variable mode form mode is edit so let's set that so whenever i select that which means that you want to edit that record and we will define one more variable called selected item that's how i know that this is the value which i want to show for the editing so i am storing that variable variable selected item and inside that whatever item is selected from the gallery i'm just using that so this item is something which i'm passing over here okay so uh, let's say for an example whenever i'm clicking on this element which means that it know that this item is this particular row so it is showing me that thing over there now depending on that variable we need to set the default value for every parameter so default value is like in case of new the default value should be blank let's say i'm clicking on this plus button then the default value should be blank but when i click on specific element from here then it should be whatever item i'm selecting i'm just need to providing over here so for different data type the default value is different so let's have a look so let's say first pick up the employee name and check the default property so we can write a condition if variable mode is equal to edit then that variable dot employee name that is the default value otherwise it should be blank which is correct if it is a lookup column then we need to set up the default selected item and for that if variable mode is equal to edit then you need to pass the value in this form because it is accepting record only so if i format this text this is the formula if edit then in value you need to provide variable dot department dot name because it is your lookup column for lookup column you always need to pass the record structure like this and it will show the selected item over here for position this is the choice column for choice column there is a different way of showing the selected item so you just need to go to the default property and over here we can simply write if mode is added then your variable dot your column name which is position which will set over here like this because it's a single select column okay and for the new mode it will always reset by default to the first choice for date of joining we can have the similar thing we can go to the default date and let's provide a condition if form mode is added then selected item dot date of joining otherwise 
it should be like today which means today's date for multi choice column you need to use the default like this you need to go to the default selected items and over here if it is a multi select choice then your variable dot that column name a pro devices that's it and for total years of experience it just a simple if edit then your variable dot your column name it that simple so this is how your default value will work like now let's use the save button for the update as well so what we need to do here is here we need to write one more condition if variable mode is equal to new then we need to continue with the patch function that we have created at this moment but let's say if it is edit then we need to press comma and copy and paste the exact same expression and complete the bracket but here in the default we need to update this syntax so instead of default we need to use whatever item is selected from your gallery so over here whenever i'm selecting this item it is saving in one of the variable variable selected items so let's select that variable and now let's provide it over here variable selected items so second parameter i am passing like this variable selected item other things will as is because the same value we, i need to pass there so i have added the notify form has been submitted successfully with notification type of success in case of new and in case of edit it is just like form has been updated successfully and notification type is success and after it submitted basically in case of new i want to reset everything so i will use all the reset function from here so let me copy all this reset let me just add after notification and we are all done now let's test this feature so first of all i am just selecting this element here and i am just changing from senior developer to practice lead let's save this thing and here we are it has been updated successfully as soon as it updated it automatically showing that stuff over here if i create new record it will resetting everything and now let's add one more stuff here i just added this value now and you can see that now it has been added successfully and resetted everything so form has been completed successfully so this is how the overall patch function will look like inside the power apps same way let's say if you want to remove the item from the gallery you can simply add delete button and on top of that you can simply use remove function and in remove function you need to provide the name of your database and this item because you want to delete this item so let's say if i'm clicking on this one it will delete it that item from the database and now it is showing me only three records over here so in this video how many things you learn you learn how to show different type of column inside your gallery second thing you learn how to write patch function for the new and update record and how you can write the patch with the different type of data type in the dataverse third thing you learn is let's say i want to set up the default value from my dataverse table then how can i do that and for that we learn the different default property for different controls right so that's it for today's session hope this video helps you and clears most of the doubt if so hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel looking for any training and consultation then website link is available on the channel cover home page and don't forget to follow me on my other social media handles all the links are available on the channel cover right page also don't forget to follow my another channel digital thruvin where i'm uploading short content on power platform with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye